Hey guys, what's up? This is Rafa again with Rafa Racing. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be showing you guys the signature livery that we're putting on the cars. We have a couple of Caymans here that I purchased recently. 2021 4.0 GTS. I don't know about you guys, but to me it looks absolutely incredible. Uh, and then we also have a 2022 Cayman GT4. These will be intended to be used on the track by members to be able to get people, you know, get their feet wet in a really good track setup car. Again, it has a big arm top with uh with the stripe that just continues all the way to the back there's a whole lot more to come i uh, just picked up the uh stacker today so we'll be able to transport these cars and some of the other cars so this is my current trailer we added the rapper racing logo to the side i am uh, maybe biased in love with it here in the back we added just a big r we put the uh, rapper racing club on both sides we haven't put the slogan so we'll probably put the slogan on the side just wanted to get something on it uh for this weekend coming up but we'll have the finished product pretty soon also we have uh Koto this weekend i'm taking the senna the uh, 570s gt4 and those will be first time experiences taking them on the track so we'll be taking people out on the scent out on the track uh, as well as people on the gt4 we expect a pretty big turnout so super excited about this unofficial lounge of, of rapper racing Dakota, got my brother-in-law driving the new stacker up, up ahead that looks like an 18 wheeler. We're about 30 minutes away from getting to Dakota, super excited. Have a huge turnout. I think we're gonna have a total of about nine to 10 cars. They're gonna have the brand on it. I got a lot of uh, commitments to take a lot of people out to the track, people that have never been on it. So super excited. It's gonna be a fun event. So we're now at Coda, finally unloaded. It was quite a bit of work, but as you can see, we're rolling deep. Sean 620R, 600, my GT4 and the Senna. Can't wait till uh, get to put the Senna and the uh, GT4 on the on Coda. So I just got back from driving the Senna. It was absolutely insane experience. It has so much torque, so much horsepower. The handling took me a while to get used to and the braking as well. Um, just because one, it's a really expensive car that I've never driven. The car just felt insane. So much grip, you could feel it down for us. Probably got to 175, 180, I think, uh, in the back straight. So all kinds of friends and family, everybody that kind of grew up that's close is coming out to support the team. So, you know, we have friends and family of other people actually here, not just me. So super excited about how, how well the team is doing. What do you think, Cody? Sick. And yeah, we're going 15. <laughs> so we're doing the parade laps. Uh, Quinn and I are in the 570S GT4. 
and Rafa's ahead of us in the Senna. There's no helmets, reduced speed limit, but you can take any car out and just enjoy the track, which is insane. I won the Rafa racing experience. I'm extremely excited to get out on the track. This will be my first time ever in a track ready car here at the Circuit of the Americas. done with my Rafa racing experience in the McLaren Senna. Uh, we were clearly the fastest car on the track because I'm pretty sure we passed every single car that was in front of us. Exceptional power, just an absolute electric experience. Rafa is an amazing guy. He was extremely sharp with his driving capabilities. He was extremely consistent on all of his turns and his brakes and stuff like that. It was just, I mean, you couldn't have asked for a better experience in the McLaren Senna. So thanks again for, for Rafa Racing Club and Looking forward to seeing what's next. Alright, so end of day, we have uh, the whole crew just hanging out, kind of uh, getting to know each other, just uh, mingling. We we're cooking up some steaks, people were having some drinks, had a little toast, a little champagne to celebrate the club. Um, I actually got a chance to drive every car today. I took the uh, 600, the Senna, and the GT4. I took the GT4 out twice. I actually did the full hour in the uh, happy hour and got a chance to take three, three or four people, I can't recall. Uh, but the whole day was just awesome, super exhausted. I drove for a total of about three and a half hours. Most that I've ever actually driven, so super excited about tomorrow and getting some actual more training, getting some more people out. But just a great turnout and super happy about the way everything turned out. Day two here back at Coda. Uh, we had a great event yesterday, a huge turnout. Uh, had a lot of fun taking out three different cars, the Senna 600 and the GT. It was a really good unofficial launch, if you will, of Rafa Racing Club. Nice and cool conditions, not cold, but should be a nice day. Super excited to get going. Yeah, so we just actually went out on the warm up lap and I got a flat tire on the passenger rear. Um, looked at the tire and uh, it actually had a nail on it. So had to get towed in. We actually had a Interesting time trying to get it down off the up of the flatbed, uh, but we managed to get it down, turn on the jack, shoot the jack. Uh, but we're ready to go, we have a few spares, so glad that we have extra tires and glad that nothing happened.
Tia. Today it's uh, Sunday, May 1st, uh, which is uh, noteworthy, of course, because it's the anniversary of Senna's death. Uh, but we're here to kind of celebrate in a way. And uh, so we're at Coda today where we did a bunch of hot laps in a McLaren Senna. We were talking a lot about what it was about this car that blew my mind, because uh, I've driven some really fast street cars here, including my own. The acceleration, unparalleled. Uh, the braking, certainly unparalleled. Going into turn 12, we were over 170 miles an hour and braking very easily inside the 150 marker. I can only imagine once he's got, you know, a couple hundred laps under his belt, uh, how much he'll be pushing the car to the limit. So I love that car and uh, I've always loved everything about, you know, what it stands for. Uh, but but I think from a performance standpoint, it's, it's truly insane. I mean, it was really designed for one thing, which was to sort of clobber the track. Hello, I'm Hadley. I am a part of the Rafa Racing Team. I have the 2019 McLaren 600 LT. Now, this is my first track event at Circuit of the Americas. It's been going really well. Super excited to be out on the track. It's been an honor to be able to join their group and have that family experience around the track. My first drive yesterday, quite intimidating at first, but once I got out there and started driving, it was almost meditative. No stress, just completely, everything just washed over me, and it was just me, my car, and the road. day at Coda. Finally the track is empty. It was freaking hot. So I just want to say thank you to everybody that came out, supported the team, supported the club. Thank you to all the sponsors. And one of the things that I actually learned today was that 28 years ago today was when Senna actually had his fatal accident. So kind of incredible that I just got to Senna and I actually got a chance to drive probably 50 laps, 60 laps around Coda uh, this weekend. So it's gonna be, you know, just one of those cars that I'm gonna not come out every time with it, but I definitely am going to enjoy and, and keep for a long time. So, with that, thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button, notifications, and again, any comments, any feedbacks, all welcome. Thank you.